Chair recognizes the lady from Grant for discussion of the matter. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. May I speak on the bill? Yes, ma'am. Yes. This evening, as we convene here in these chambers, and we're talking about reappropriating $69 million, the purpose of us doing that is in hopes of ameliorating some of the concerns that we are seeing um, rise up across the Commonwealth. We want to make it easier for folks to contend with a public health emergency that we've been dealing with for over 18 months. But I want to talk about another concern tonight. I want to talk about, in relation to this bill, another concern that has come to the forefront in the context of the very people that we want to help. All across the Commonwealth, um, healthcare workers have reached out to me, not just in my district, but all over Kentucky, to express their deep concern about being forced by their employer to receive a vaccine. And again, we are on the subject of vaccine mandates. I think that every person, every citizen in the Commonwealth of Kentucky has a natural right to bodily integrity. Every person, both born and unborn. And although I don't feel that it is the appropriate role of an employer to force someone to receive a vaccine against their will. And despite the fact that we have men and women who are licensed to provide medical services to other people that are being told by their employers all over the state that they either get the vaccine or lose their job. It's already been an issue that we have seen and come October 1st, there's gonna be a whole lot more of an issue and I have told a lot of those folks that there's nothing that we can do until January. And yet here we are, and we have an opportunity. We have an opportunity in the context of the fact that we are reappropriating these funds and we are duly constituted to put stipulations on those funds. And it would not be right if we did not attempt to take some type of action on behalf of all of these citizens who are faced with an impossible decision to receive a vaccine against their will or to lose their ability to put food on the table for their families. Mr. Speaker, I would like to make a motion to suspend the rules to introduce House Floor Amendment 1 to Senate Bill 3. <laughs> 